Hello everyone, my name is Ben and today we'll be looking at the efficacy of different types of masks and the research behind it on how effective it is at keeping you safe from the coronavirus. So the current public health initiatives and trends right now is that anyone with a nose or mouth or lungs are technically supposed to be wearing masks, but how effective our masks given the fact that N95 masks are literally nowhere to be found anymore for consumers they're only reserved for physicians to use at the hospital and surgical masks are hard to come by so most people are either making their own masks or buying their own ma buying masks from sellers which are primarily cotton based and then there's other people who are making masks out of bandanas or using fleece masks so a couple of researchers published a article literally last Friday on the efficacy of masks to prevent the spread of respiratory droplets. Now this research was done by a bunch of physics professors at Duke University who essentially wanted to make a low cost effective way to see how useful masks are because Duke University has been commissioning a lot of people to make masks for their physicians and to and for their healthcare workers because we are in short supply. So they needed a quick, efficient, cheap way to determine the efficacy of masks so that they can give it to their physicians. So essentially these physics researchers decided to create a little device using a laser, a cell phone, a black box, and a little hole where a subject can speak into to see whether or not respiratory droplets were spread using a mask type and the control was without a mask and they made each mask be tried 10 times with the study participants and together they examined 14 different types of masks using N95s and surgical masks in addition to cloth masks out there. Then they had the subject speak into a microphone and the laser would detect the number of respiratory droplets that are being spread while they are speaking and a computer does a really cool algorithm which I cannot explain because I'm not a physics nor math expert just calculates how many respiratory droplets there are when the subject is speaking. So with every speaker that spoke on the mask they had that speaker first speak on the microphone without a mask and then they had them use one of the 14 types of masks they were testing out and had them speak with that mask on 10 times to make sure the data that they were collecting was accurate and specific. And the results are pretty pretty promising everyone. So essentially the N95 mask performed the best. I believe the amount of respiratory droplets that the N95 blurted out was 0.1 in and around 0.1 droplets. And then the next effective one is the three-layered surgical mask, which was around 0.2 droplets. I think this is very good news because over time I've been seeing more and more surgical masks being available at stores. Yesterday we went, I went to Marshalls with my family and we found out that they were actually selling three-layer surgical masks by other companies, not medical companies, but other companies are being commissioned to make these surgical masks and they were freely available and in stock at Marshalls. So in, practically anyone can grab them and they have a very, very high efficacious rate of preventing transmission. Another really good news is that they found that cloth masks are generally really good for preventing the transmission of droplets. However, we want to emphasize the fact that, that the more layers there are on that cloth mask, the more efficacious it is at preventing the spread of those droplets. So if you're out buying masks, make sure they're at least double layered. And if you have a triple layered cloth mask, you're getting even better protection. Lastly, if you are currently using a bandana mask, a neck sleeve mask, or a fleece mask, please consider upgrading to either a cloth or surgical mask because these have been shown to be not very efficacious at all. You're essentially giving yourself a placebo effect in that you think you're keeping yourself safe, but you are prone to getting exposed to respiratory droplets if you're close enough to someone. So definitely cloth masks are the way to go. They're the most abundant and easy to find. But if you can get your hands on a surgical mask, which is becoming more and more common out there at stores, definitely get yourself a surgical mask. I know a lot of people are really liking the new styles and designs of masks out there. That's cool. But we want to emphasize that we are currently living in a pandemic and you should get the best mask for you to survive and
the most bang for your buck. And a really, really interesting take that these researchers found is that fleece masks is actually worse than wearing no mask at all because what it did is it, it broke down those droplets into smaller droplets and made it even easier for the subject to inhale respiratory droplets. That's it for this week's video. I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope you found my videos entertaining and that you got something out of it. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I'm always available for a DM if you have any more questions and I'll try to get back to you. I'm starting school again tomorrow so I don't know how available I'm going to be but if you want to keep up with my life, if you want to see what I'm doing outside of making YouTube videos, I'm doing a lot in the community, please follow my Instagram and Twitter. I love you all so much. This is Ben.